Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today here in Tatooine as we go around and just uh, explore and rob these fine people that are around here. We have an iron defense tower. Hello, or turret, I should say. It's a little, it's not really a turret, it's just sort of a bot, really. Why they call it a turret, I would never know. Uh, so we got some grenades over here that nobody cares for. We got. Hello, sir. We'll watch your ship like any other. The bay is safe. Sounds good to me. Sounds like a very reassuring thing to say to people that uh, land here. It says like any other, but there's no other ship here in the bay, but there might be other bays behind these walls or something like that. I don't know. Can't get under the ships either. Apparently you have a lot of exhaust coming out. So I wouldn't know what that is. Probably some nit nit nitrous gas or something like that. And we do need some sort of accelerant in space, wouldn't we? Uh, and we have a couple of guards. We have the customs officer that we talked to last episode. We have... Oh, the... Oh. Okay, I get the impression that we're going to have a lot of... Uh... Talk. Hello, sir. Hey. You a swoop racer? Crazy fool. Yeah, I'm not actually, but I'm going to have to lower the volume because we're going to talk to people that probably don't talk basic. Hello there, Captain. Let's see. Ah, yes, here it is. Looks like the shipment has been delivered to your ship as requested. Uh, wait a minute. This, this guy... Uh... What shipment? What are you talking about? This is Docking Bay 32, isn't it? No, yes, it is. And that's what I have here in a requisition form. Everything seems to be in order. The Giska are your problem now. Uh... Excuse me, did you say Giska? It says right here on the manifest that you ordered a crate of Giska to be delivered to Docking Bay 32. That's right here. Now, all I need is your thumbprint for the... Wait a second. Where did the, where did the data pad go? Uh, anyway. At any rate, the Giska are yours. One of the loaders said the crate still open once he put it in the, in the hold. Some of the creatures might have gotten loose. That happens, I'm afraid. We don't accept liability. And we certainly couldn't take the cargo back. Enjoy! Uh, thanks. I don't know what Giska are. They sound fun. Oh, these guys. I like these guys. Also, there's a pouch with adrenal stamina, adrenal alacrity, and sonic grenade. I'll definitely take all of those. Let me just go through my options here. There's no container over there? Apparently not. Hello, Mr. Heavy Blaster Turret. Even smaller than the other one. Let's have a chat with this guy and see who talks to me. Who that? Turn it! You gun the Fasca! Customer are talking. That's better. Hello, customer. Buy from Meek Tung Chan and save your credits. Sorry, I can't pronounce your name. Um, and don't be shy. Just ask to see what you want. If you can get a look, a good look, we don't move the merchandise. Uh, can I ask you some questions? Oh, we are here to serve. What do you need to know? Uh, what about you? Oh, I is just a humble merchant from the rim. That's what would you wish to know about we? Uh, we, yeah. Where do you come from? Ah, you couldn't say it and don't have the ears for it. Two voices create the name, and four years here the second, the true name. We suppose the trade li lanes have had to call us something. With one mouth in a world of yours, Sorges, far off the Perlemian trade route. It's an unimportant stop, we admit. We left for a little, uh, for a life of trade, because we are strong and a good stalker. We have done well. So... You're, are you one creature or two? I imagine the answer is going to be yes. You are pardoned for asking because you only know one mind, or at least only one at a time. We are one now, but weren't always. We grow together, bonded by the age of choosing when we become wool. Not like you. You are half of what you should be. Like brood squiller. Uh, not that we would wa want to offend you. We don't want to lose any business. <laughs> this is just a way of our pardwag. Yeah, your other half doesn't say much, does it? It's just because you can't hear it doesn't mean it isn't there. Okay, um, so that's the where you come from. Let's go back to other questions. Uh, do you know anything about Tatooine? Oh, not as much as we should. If we knew more, we would have better business. Travelers like us best. Settlers don't have much to trade. We don't travel far to on Tatooine itself, you see. The weather is not like our home. Too dry. Way too dry. Uh... Would I ask to get more information? Always trust the locals, even if they don't trust you. They are the ones that really know what's going on. That's true on any world. Yeah, that's very true, actually. 
Uh, heard any off-world rumors? Well, just what everyone else talks about. Darius and the Sith and the stirring of change. Could be good for business. Could be bad for business. Uh, all that we know is that wise people keep low and stay out of the way. Something to always remind your other af- Uh, if you have one. Yeah, I suppose. Um, so... Hmm, interesting. That's why would I go back to my other questions? Yeah, let me show me what you have for sale. Oh, yeah, of course. We don't want to keep you from your important business. Please, have a look. Yes, indeed. And show my sell list, because I have a lot of crap around here. I should probably sell more of this crap. Especially heavy combat suits that are not very good. These are crap. Republican... Republic mod armor. Oh, it's upgradable, so I'm going to keep it. Um, and uh, this over here... These are nice. This is upgradable. This is medium. Eh, military suit. Probably should sell it. Uh, I'm going to keep the light battle armor. That's medium steel, but it's just better. Missions Viber Blade. We got a few Viber Swords. We have a bunch of crystals. And we could probably sell a few. Just to make a little bit of money. Heavy Blasters. I am Blasters. Keep those. That's about that. We got a bunch of grenades. We have a few other things over here that we don't really need, like energy shields most likely, but because we never use them, to be honest. They're not very expensive, so I'm just going to keep them. Uh, stealthy ge field generators that I don't really do much with. Adrenal things and average plasma mines. Do I have minor fragment? Oh, yeah, I don't, I'm not going to need the the minor stuff because it's, I mean, if, I, if I'm going to use them, I'm going to go with the good stuff. Armor reinforcement. We have a bunch of other stuff. Droid platings. I don't know if I... It's type 1. I guess this is better. Droid medium. Oh, it's the medium thing. Okay. That's fine. Chill disruptors here. They have uses. Oh. Oh, that's kind of interesting. We used chill disruptors like it was... There was no tomorrow before. But there we go. That's good. So show by list and see what we have. Life support pack. A life support pack contains thermal... Rent. So what does it do? Excuse the hiccup. Uh, life support pack skills, 30 vitality points plus wisdom modifier, plus three times user skill in treat injury. That's not very good, is it? I mean, I guess two times user skill. Oh, that's why the crappy med packs are crappy. Just to use a skill or treat injury. That's terrible. But these things are actually very expensive, so I'm not going to buy them. Yuzanis' brand. It's something we can buy. A uh, melee weapon. Oh, it's a staff? Hmm, Interesting. Uh, it does 4 to 18. I think it, it looks like a staff to me. I got some crystals and a bunch of other stuff. All of it very, very interesting. I wish I could buy it. Bantha Father. This is a highly pungent mixture of local plant and fungus. Banthas apparently find it irresistible. Though it's doubtful any intelligent species would willingly call it food. And Gizka poison. I'm going to take... I probably shouldn't have taken the poison. Because it's kind of expensive, really. But if we play, play Bazak, then hopefully good things are going to happen. Um, extra dexterity over there with the Karakan ga gauntlets. Not bad. I do hope that we find very good stuff out, out in the middle of, of nowhere. Um, but uh, for right now, let's just bring the volume back up and let's explore Tatooine. I don't think we have a passage anywhere. It's just this area over here. I probably should go, but let's go back and deal with the terrible things that have unleashed on my sheep. I do want to see the rest of the planet, but I also don't want to delay... Whatever is about to happen. Oh! Oh, that's why I need the Giska poisons. But they're so cute! The Giska looks at you curiously, cooing. Uh. I can. kill it. I'm gonna pick it up. You try to pick up the Giska, but it wriggles from your grasp and plops back down to the floor. The Giska looks at you again. I'm gonna pet it. You scratch the little creature behind its nubs that pass for years, and it coos enthusiastically in response. Okay, now I can pick it up. No. Really? Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. There's so many of them. What should I do? Hey, Johanny. How may I be of assist- Um... I was wondering if you could- yeah, Well, yeah, many things. Uh... I was wondering if you could help me with the stowaway problem. I do not know how to help you with that. I am sorry. Oh. Okay. How may I be a... Uh, 
Do you know anything can be done about the Giskas? I do not know how to help you with that. I am sorry. Man! That's kind of surprising, actually. That I'd be able to ask the question and them not... That's kind of just wasting my time. Hey, Giska. Can you get away? Thank you. Hey. Vasla. I don't know if she's going to like those things. How can I help? Um... So, can you help me with the, my little stowaway problem? I'm confident that you can deal with that on your own. Okay, well... How can I help? Um, do you know anything that can be done about these Giska on board? I wish I could help you with that. Hmm. Tarth? Yes, what's on your mind? Um, stowaway? Sorry. Oh. Yes, what's on your mind? What about the, uh, the Giska? I'm not really sure. Okay, well, looks like I might be on my own. Mission might know a little bit more. I don't know if she is... Did I say Misha? I meant Mission. I probably sounded... I probably actually said Mission. It probably sounded wrong. Um, oh, come on. Yeah, these guys are a little bit of a problem. I imagine just giving the poison to one of them is not going to fix it. I kind of don't really want to kill them. I mean, I don't even know what they are. Why would I want to kill them? If I don't know what they are. Know what I mean? Hey, Sasha. Do you like the Gizka? Mucha shaka paka. I know, I know. Uh, let me see... Okay, we'll talk later. Let's not tell her that I want her off the ship. I'm kind of lost, though. This is not Mission's place. I am lost. Can I tell? Cargo hold. Let's go somewhere this way, I suppose. Yeah, there's a huge area to this, say. Hey, Candorus. Yeah, what do you want? I stole away. What? You think I don't have something better to do? Oh, come on. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, what about the, the Giska? So deal with it. Why are you asking me about it? Oh, come on. Seriously, are these guys gonna be like that? Oh, I thought I thought they could help. Mission. Mission. You can save me. Hey there. What can I do for you? Um, so. Stowaway. Oh, heck. I don't know. Ugh. Hey there. What uh, what about the Giska? Um, are you sure you want to ask me about that? Are you guys for real? Maybe I'm. Uh, maybe I'm gonna need to uh, to ask the uh, the guy that is racist and uh, is out here. Hey. Welcome back. Is there something I can do for you? Yes. I. Yes. Unfortunately, there is, but you can't do it for me. I'm gonna have to deal with those things. Let, let me actually look at the. Uh, at the missions over here. A quest for the Starforge missions, brother. Yeah. So, the fates seem to be conspiring against you. The disorganized port authorities on Tatooine appear to have shipped a delivery of Gizka to the Ebon Hawks hold, and there doesn't appear to be any way to get them back. The dock workers mentioned that some of the Gizka escaped, which certainly doesn't sound good. Yeah, they're all in there. We probably should check the cargo hold, but let's go to Anchor Head, which apparently is the sea. Oh, this looks promising. Oh, this looks interesting. Is that loading screen? Yes, it is. Oh, I remember this level. Somehow. Yeah. <laughs> this place. Oh, man. Hey. Leave me alone. Leave me this rock, I swear. Hey, sir. Excuse me. With Terrace gone, I wonder who the Sith will turn on next. On you, most likely. I mean, Vastla is here. So you never know. But don't worry. You can't hear me. Oh, look at this beautiful giraffe of death, most likely. I don't... I have no idea. Hey, do you talk? No, it's just a Ronto. It kind of looks like a giraffe, except a very heavily mutated one. Uh, excuse me. Please, will you help me? I have nothing. Nothing left. It seems that your house has been... Oh, man, this place. Uh, what do you need? I'm a Marcos Jeros. I, I'll help you if I can. Oh, thank you. I don't have anywhere else to turn. If you're down and out on Tatooine, you're on your own. My husband was a hunter, killed out on the dunes. This raid plate is all I have left. Please, will you buy it? I don't need a handout. I just can't sell it to Faza without a license. Please, I'm worried about having it. They're so rare. Uh, so w what is a raid plate? Where did you get it? It's the bone plate from the head of the desert raid. My husband was so proud when he found it. He had just started hunting. He said he felt sure the next hunt would bring in more, so we waited to sell this one. Then he never came back. Yeah, dangerous business, huh? Uh, okay, let's talk about this plate. Will you buy it? 
I can't sell it myself. They are worth more than 500 credits. Okay. I... Perhaps? You will? Oh, thank you so much. Please, I know it's worth at least 500 credits. Okay. What? So how much are you... Pl what? Sure. I'll pay you what you want. Here. Oh, thank you. I hope it is enough. You've been a great help. I appreciate it. My children will too. Wow. Sometimes helping people feels pretty good, you know? No. For whatever it means, may the force be with you. You saved us. I hope so. And you're not just scamming me. But no, in this game, she probably isn't. So light side points added, item received. And hopefully that's actually a quest item and not something that I need to sell. Because that would feel a little bit pointless, to be honest. Just, you know... A very, very simple quest, otherwise. Uh, let's go inside and uh, a hunting lodge. Oh, it's a house. Oh. Zalbar. What's up, man? Mission. Hey. Uh, I think this might be where we find her brother. Let me survey the area. Oh, boy. Go that queen. Who's that guy? I spot you. Tiny Sven. Hmm. Well... Let's have a chat with everybody. So, let me lower the volume here. So we can have a nice conversation with this guy. Oh, I can't. This guy is not... Oh, this guy is not a person. Hey, sir. Yes, is there something you wish, human? Uh, yeah, information. Uh, if I, if you guy could trouble for such a worthy... Uh, trouble such a worthy hunter for a moment. Mm, spare me the flattery, human. Such talk is rarely sincere. Okay, who are you? What do you do? I am Comad Fortuna, a hunter and a member of this lodge. It, it's not the life for everyone, but I'm content. I'm content, he says. Um, so where's the best hunting? The best hunting is wherever the best hunter is. It's a trite answer, human, but the only one I can give. It depends on what I, what you seek. Raid are plentiful and are the spoils of the sport hunters. Dragons appear only well, to the true hunter. Patience is key. Great dragons hunt alone, and their prey is whatever can catch their attention. So dragons are rare, huh? Are they dangerous? They are both rare and dangerous, and an honor to hunt. If you survive, you are blessed and favored. Respect them. Some try to lessen the risk of mass hunting with battle droids. I would rather hunt solo, taking the risk as my own. So who uses battle droids? I'll not speak of it while they leave. It is their shame to admit or hide. They know the effect is ha it has. Perhaps they will kill so many raids that they also will kill the hunt. After that, perhaps the solo hunter will still prosper. Well, perhaps. How long have you been at this? A decade? Two? I don't enslave myself to time, human. There is day and there is night. Oh, that's... That's a... That's a pretty... pretty I mean, I guess in a in a galactic civilization, it would be it's it's a pre. I th I, su I suppose I ca it kind of fascinates me a little bit that 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 sort of attitude. It's not really possible on Earth though, because time is ever. Don't look at me, Jer Jeros. Um, it's not really possible here. But yeah, you really don't know anymore. Uh, Tatooine will not change in my lifetime. Why bother trying to keep up with the rolling of the years? That's another reason. I never... I didn't even think of that. So, uh, what can you tell me about the other hunters? Probably not as much as you would learn speaking to them yourself, even if they tell you nothing. The most obvious are the Gamorians, however. Gurk and his crew are not the best company. They hunt, but often come back with salvage instead of hides and pure in pearls. I think they pray walk... their prey walks upright. Oh. Wouldn't the guards have something to say about that? The dunes are far from the reach of their blasters. Besides, Gurk spends his money in company stores. Uh, okay, so what about the other hunters? Hmm. Put simply, Dora Queen is honorable. Tanis Ven is not so much, but I have no real quarrel with him. Okay, so it goes back to that. Um, so, can ask about that. Wooden guards, that's the one. There we go. So, yeah, let's go back to my few previous questions. I'm looking for something. Uh, who knows this planet best? No one that will return your questions. To truly know the dunes, you have to leave there, as the sand people do. Only they truly explore the land, but they attack without debate. If you see them at all, uh, have you ever seen the sand people with anything odd? 
Won't send people carry nothing but weapons and bloodlust. To them, outsiders, excuse me, are invaders to be repelled. Once or twice, however, I have seen them emerge from all the ruins and sacks and other containers. Or with sacks. I've already been driven off, and if I examine the site later, there's nothing left. Or I've always been driven off, he says. So, what kinds of ruins were these? Where were they? Nah, they were old storehouses of some kind, but you couldn't find them now, humans. The sand covers all. Finding their encampment is easy enough. Walk south until you are attacked. Huh. <laughs> what about the Jawas? The Jawas may know the land as well, but are more interested in trading than talking. They scavenge the escape jobs. Their language is difficult. If you can get anything more than the price of a droid out of them, I'll be impressed. Um, okay. I think I can ask a little bit more about that. No, I can't. Uh, so that goes back to that. Can I ask out of the questions? There it is. So... What will you pay for me... N oh, no. What? Why would I... <laughs> what will you pay for me not to kill you? Nah, I have to leave. Bye. Good hunting. Yeah, thank you for, uh, for the information. Very helpful dude. Let's have a chat with this guy that m makes very, very bassy sounds. Well, a new face. Come to test your skill on the endless dunes of Tatooine. Faz's Lodge is the place to arrange it. This world may not have much, but it does have the meanest predators this side of the Galactic Rim. A hunter's paradise. Uh, I have something to sell you. I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to even look at what you have until I see a hunting license. Zerga Corporation's rules. The other hunters all have theirs. I can make exceptions or I'll get shut down. Okay, uh... Can't I even ask you about the license? Sure. So what do you do here? This is the hunting lodge. I purchased what the sportsmen bring in. It's not a bad little job. Uh, okay, I got some questions about that. You'll want to know how to get in on it. Just pay 200 credits for a license down at the Zerka office. No license, no hunting. Okay, why do I need a license? You need a license because nobody gets out of the city without one. Zerka Corporation uses it to keep track of people. They want people to know that if they step outside the gates, they are on their own. Only serious hunters pay the 200 credit fee. Once, only, only hunters, I guess. Once you have a license, I'll pay whatever, the, whatever spoils of the hunt you bring back. I have off-world buyers that take them. Uh, would you consider lowering the fee? Wait a minute. He's not the one with a fee. Well, that's not up to me now, is it? You'd have to talk with the people down at the Zerka office in the town center. Yep. Okay, I think there's another... What is there to hunt on Tatooine? Most of our boys confine themselves to hunting raid. Large fleshy beasts as tall as a man. Uh, well, tall man, yes. Uh, Desert raid have the large bone plate on their head that I pr pay well for. But that's not where the real glory is. You've probably heard about the big prize, the crate Dragon. The most fearsome predator in the system, they are. If you could find one, and I doubt you will, I'll buy the stones polished in their gizzard, the dragon pearls. Oh, the dragons are rare then. You'd think it's easier to find such a gigantic creature. <laughs> Command's father took one down, but that was a year that was years ago. Yeah, what was so special about Comet's father? He'd been a hunter for years, using strict traditional methods. Comet is just like him. Maybe he'll show you a thing or two on the on the dunes, or out on the dunes. Um Okay, so, um, I thought there was another one, but usually the game actually does a very good job of not leaving me questions unopened. Uh, what is that to hunt? Yeah, that's what I asked before. Good, good, good. So, um, I want to ask about Tatooine? No, not much to tell. Barren place, can't support much, but I have managed to get off-world hunters to show up. I suppose there's trouble here. Find, find anything any, anywhere else, but you'll have to ask someone else about that. I keep to myself. There's, I suppose there's trouble here. That's that's a, that's an interesting way of doing that, um, of saying that. Anything out of the ordinary happening? You mean here on Tatooine or just in general? I heard about the destruction of Terrys. Don't know anything specific. I'm not surprised someone something like it happened. I remember the Exar Kun War and how Sith and the Jedi fought across worlds. Not have much interest in either group. Both act like they're above my concerns, and I guess they are. Uh, anything more local? Uh, Zerka Corp is always complaining about sand people. I stay out of it. We hunt animals, not people. And I guess the Jawas are being pushed uh, around again. At least that's what I think they said. Though, tough to tell sometimes. You'll have to talk to these groups yourself for more. I keep to myself. Sounds good. Sounds very good. I think there might... Yeah, there was nothing else. Okay, I have to go. Bye. I'll be here. I keep hunters hours. Fazas is always open. Friendly dude friendly dude. Hey, kudos. How's it going, man? 
Got an interesting name. Bazak player, most likely. Hello, human! Are you a hunter like the others? Not a lie for me, but I admire you for it. Uh, yeah, what do you do? I fill the days with games of Bazak. Not that there's many people to play with, but a person should keep busy sometimes. Or somehow, I'd play with a fellow in a canteen, but I, f I find him distasteful. He does not play for the same reasons I do. What, what reasons are those? The sport of it! Even if I lose, there is reward in having played for the best of my ability. I don't dwell on the credits taken or given. To most people, the game is simply gambling, but I choose to get more out of it than that. Not many players see it my way. Not many players, he says. Um, yeah, let's go back to other questions. Very well, I have little else to do. Uh, could I ask you about Tatooine? Oh, I doubt I could tell you more than the rest of these fellows. I haven't set foot outside our, uh, our anchor head, and I don't know why anyone would want to. Tatooine isn't a very hospitable place. I'll be going as soon as parts of my ship arrive. It may take some time, though. Um, heard any rumors from off-planet? Well, nothing since that unfortunate business on Terrace. The Republic is reeling from that, as are we all. It's troubling. But you can't let that call stop to your day. We've survived worse, and will again. It's just the way things are. Okay. Um, so, that's that. I have to go. Goodbye. Safe travels, Wayflayer. Yeah, the reason why I'm saying goodbye is because I'm saving the game. <laughs> so, uh, I want to ask you about Pazak. Ah, what did you want to talk about? Would, would you care for a game? Um, yes, let's have a game. I'm up for it. I haven't played you before, so let's go slow to start. Low wagers, just to see how we measure up. Bet, that, uh, bet what you wish. I prefer the sport to the reward. Okay, so that's actually pretty low wagers. I got my uh, deck already set up. I could buy a little bit more. Let's play a little bit, and we're off to a... Oh, I stood. Oh. We're off to a terrible start, I would say. I was gonna say. Yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, we're off to a, to a... I was gonna say we are off to, to a good start, but uh, I don't care about you, sir. No, no, no. I, I, I care about money. That's, that's what I care about. Also, light side. Oh, sort of. Anyway. Uh, let's see. I want to ask about Pazak. No, not that. Let's have a game. There it is. So, much money. Play, play, play. Thank you. And let's see what we have. End turn. That's the one I wanted to click. So, we got a 12 over there. He's got a 14. We're actually not doing very badly with a 13 over there. He's already overboard. And standing on a 19. I could... I probably should end the turn here. And... What can I do here? I... It's risky to throw in a, the six, the minus six right there, so I'm gonna stand and pretend that I threw in the minus six and just got a, a huge card after that, because that's probably what would happen, or the likelihood of that happening is definitely is definitely better. I'm gonna end the turn there on the sixteen, which is really risky. I'm not getting very. Oh, this is better. There we go. So I got a twenty. Try to beat that, Mister. He probably will. RNG is really favoring him. That's not okay. That I mean, like. RNG was giving it, was giving him all of his possibilities, just like everything. I could have played a six, I know. Oh, that's good. Okay, off to a good start over here. When I say a good start, really wasn't. But a, a tie. RNG giving me high cards. Ooh, looking, giving me a 20 as well. I am down for some of that. Okay, he see I don't know what cards he has, but that's going well. It doesn't really matter what cards he has because it's all RNG. There's no strategy whatsoever. But Oh yeah. Oh very good. You played quite well on that hand. I'm impressed. I don't mind losing when the game was skillfully won. Obviously you have some ability and I'm glad for the competition. We could play some more and perhaps later we could raise the stakes. Yeah, I, I want to raise the stakes, but I also also want to save scum like crazy. Because, you know, Oh, it doesn't raise the stakes. Why would he not? Well, let's go for another one. RNG is on my side this time around. The likelihood of that happening? Well, we tied. Likelihood of that happening would probably be 10% of 10%. A little bit less than that. Yeah, 1%. Of course, getting the 20 right there is going to be required. I'm gonna end the turn again. Hmm. Nasty. Couldn't fix that. I mean, it's not like I have a very good margin. I do have some margin, but I'm just hoping for big cards on his side. Okay, give me some. Give me some. Okay, he's standing it. Oh, are you kidding me? 
You stood at 18 and I got a 25. Seriously. Where is my minus 6 when I... Or plus and minus 6. Oh, screw you. That's why I saved scum. Forever. Anyway, that's gonna be that for this episode. I'm gonna re... Load that and I'm gonna play a little bit with him. No, actually, it's just 75. It's not really that much But we do have other people to talk to here in this bar and it's not really a bar But still we do have to talk to that guy over there and these guys over here They all have names and they all look very very menacing with their huge Two tons of steel in their hands, but for right now I'm Colonel RPG and this has been Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic I really hope you've enjoyed it and if you did go ahead and leave a comment like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.